Hey everybody, it's Chris from Xano, and I'm super excited today to introduce you to the Metadata API. The Metadata API is a set of API endpoints that allows you to programmatically manage anything inside of your Xano workspace. To introduce you to the Metadata API, we're going to show you how to programmatically manage your database tables and schema, and we have a lot more functionality coming to this API as we continue to develop. So let's go ahead and jump right into Xano and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in our Xano workspace and you can see this is a completely blank slate. I have no database tables. This workspace was just created. There's absolutely nothing here yet. And maybe I don't necessarily want to go into the database view create my tables one by one or via a CSV import. I just want to make an API call and build all of that schema exactly the way that I want. What we can do is we can go down here in the bottom left corner to our account settings. And the first thing we're going to want to do is you can see down here on the right hand side, we have a metadata API section. And this is where we will generate an access token, which allows us to make calls against those API endpoints. So I'm going to click manage access tokens. I'm going to generate a new access token and we do have the ability to kind of manage permissions on what these tokens actually do. So maybe you have different tokens that you want to issue for different members of your team and you want to make sure to define the scope of what they can and can't do. For this example, I'm going to leave everything enabled and I'm just going to call this demo and we'll click create. So you can see we are provided with our access token. It's important to note that this will only be shown once. So make sure to copy it and store it in a safe place. If you lose the token, unfortunately, you will have to regenerate a new one. So we have our token. We can go ahead and close this. And from the account screen, I'm actually going to go up here to instances. And you can see we have my single instance here. I'm going to click the settings option right here, and I'm going to click metadata API. And this brings me to the Swagger documentation that is available for the Metadata API. As we take a quick scroll here, you can see there is a ton of functionality to be leveraged uh, today that you can use right now. We are, of course, adding additional features to this with each release. Uh, but for now, I want to show you some of the basics. Of course, you can call these APIs from whatever platform you'd like. For this example, I'm just going to be using the Swagger documentation because it gives a great example of not only each endpoint that can be used, but the necessary parameters that are required to execute that endpoint. So the first thing I need to do is go up here and click Authorize. I'm going to paste my access token and click Authorize. So now I've provided that access token and I can begin to utilize anything here in the Metadata API documentation. Let's start with a very simple one to check the authentication and uh, compare it with our access token. So we'll click execute here. So you can see I am given information about my account as expected. So I know my access token is working and I'm ready to go. So the next thing I need to do after I authenticate is I need to get the ID for the workspace that I want to modify. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to click this Browse Workspaces endpoint. Click Try It Out, Execute. And so I'm returned the information about the two workspaces that I have in this instance. So it looks like for this example, I want to work with the workspace that has an ID of three. So knowing that, I can then go up to a Create Table endpoint. I'm going to click Try It Out, give it my workspace ID. And here is where I define all of the parameters for my table. So we'll give this a name, new table one, two, three. We'll give it a, a description. We can enable authentication. We can provide a specific GUID for the table. We can also provide the schema and create indexes as part of this endpoint, but I'm going to take it one step at a time and I'm just going to go ahead and click execute on this. So you can see we are returned the ID of the table that was created and let's go back into our workspace and let's take a look. So here I am back in my workspace and you can see we have our brand new table that we just created using the API. And we know that table has an ID of eight as returned by the metadata API, but we can also see that in Xano right next to the table name. 
So let's go ahead and add a field to this table. Now you do have the option to add any field type that you would like through the metadata API. For this example, we'll start off with a simple text field. I'm gonna click try it out. We'll give our workspace ID of three and our table ID of eight. And we'll give this just a name of text. We can also apply any filters that we would like at the same time. Let's click execute. We'll check our response. So back in the database view, we can open up that table again and you can see that new text field has been created. Let's go ahead and add another. So we'll go back to the documentation. Let's add an integer field. Try it out. Our workspace ID is three, table ID is eight. We can specify a name and a default value for the integer field. So we'll go ahead and just leave that as the standard example and click execute. Go back and we'll refresh our database view again. And you can see we have that score value ready to go. We did not create these in the database view. It was all completed via the metadata API. All of these endpoints do have example schema available in the documentation, so you can build your own requests super quick and super easy. Let's get into a little bit more of a complex example. Let's first browse the schema of the table that we just created. So we'll give our workspace ID and our table ID and click execute. And so we can see here in the response, we have our four fields here. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to copy this response and we're gonna use it in another endpoint to programmatically create an entire table in one step. So let's go back up to the create workspace table option. We have our workspace ID here. I'm gonna give this another name. I'm gonna call this whole new table. And for this schema value, I'm just gonna paste what I copied from the previous API and we'll click execute. And so it looks like we have a successful response and our table ID is nine. So let's go back to Xano. And we have our whole new table here with all of those fields, just like the previous table. And we created this in one API call using the new metadata API. We also of course have the option to delete tables if we would like. So let's go ahead and delete that table we just created. Click execute, give that just a moment. Go back to Xano and you can see that table is gone. We can update the metadata for an existing table. So right now we have one table that is named new table one, two, three. So let's go ahead and insert our workspace and table IDs. And we'll just go ahead and rename this table. And we'll click execute. Back to Xano, there is our renamed table. We have specific endpoints to delete tables. We can browse all of our tables. We can update table security settings, or we can, again, update the table's metadata as well. We also have the ability to programmatically create indexes on those tables via the API. So let's say I want to create an index on this text field here. So we'll go ahead and try out this API. So the field name is just text. And we'll go ahead and leave the sort as descending and click execute. Let's go to the table and let's check our indexes. So there's the index that we just created through the metadata API. It's pretty cool. We can actually create records inside of the table using the metadata API as well. So let's go ahead and add a record here. So we'll give our workspace and table ID. And we'll just populate that text field with a sample value. So back at our table, we can see we have that text field now populated with that record. And we have that uh, score field as well, which is populated with the default value that we specified when we created that field as well. Now, maybe we want to clear the contents of this table. We can do that as well. And click execute. So we have now cleared the contents of this table. So you can see now our table is empty again. The point here is there is a whole lot that you can do with this API. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you every single avenue that you could possibly need to modify the contents of your Xano workspace via the metadata API. We are starting today with tables. We do have a few other options ready to go, such as request history and managing your files library as well. With the metadata API, our ultimate goal is to give you full control over your Xano workspaces via an API.
This unlocks an incredible amount of possibility with things like migrating to Xano, where you could potentially just create your workspace programmatically via an API instead of doing it by hand. Maybe you have situations in your application where it makes sense to dynamically modify your table schema. The possibilities are endless. Today we've started with tables, but we have more on the way. Let us know down in the comments below, what do you want to see the metadata API be able to do? We would love to hear it. Always open to other questions as well. Feel free to leave them down in the comments, or you can reach out to us via support chat in Xano or on the Xano community. We're super excited to see how you utilize the new metadata API. There will be more videos coming as we add additional features. Thanks for watching.